In Navisworks Manage 2017, one of the really powerful tools we have is the Clash Detector component. This is a tool that allows you to go through models from different consultants and check for any errors or any clashes there may be, be between uh, different consultants with coordination. And we're doing this in the virtual world before we get out on site, because to do this on site can be very expensive to correct, whereas if we do it in the virtual world, it's a lot cheaper and it makes sure that when we get on site, we know where everything goes and everything's coordinated and there's not going to be any major adjustments. So inside of Clash Detective, we have the option to add tests. We can also rename that test. So I want to do a simple structure versus MEP test here. And I'm going to go through my appended models, so my structure versus some of the different MEP components that have been appended to this model. I'll leave the settings on the default. There are numerous options you can choose from here and have my tolerance at 0.05 of a meter. You can also clash lines and laser scans like point clouds and you can even do self-intersect. I'm just going to keep it on the basics and run this test and it's going to go through the model here and it's going to find anything that could be clashing. So if we just bring up the uh, menu here so we can see what's going on, this will tell us that this uh, wall, that's a concrete wall, 250 mil thick, is clashing with the cable tray fittings. And what we can do inside of this report here is make this one active. We can use other tools like the review tool to put a markup here. So very simple application add a note should we want to and even assign it to a user so I can assign this to Tom please create opening in wall for tray and I can share that report out with Tom and numerous other users so they've got a report and they can go back into the model and make those adjustments for us to bring back into the clash detection and make sure this is fully coordinated. Another thing we can do here also is we can use the switchback tool. Now I don't have Revit open at the moment but what it will do is it will allow you to connect back to Revit and take you straight into the model so you can actually uh, get into the information that you need to adjust and then bring back into Navisworks. So with that, uh, with the clash detection report we can then send this out to other users. So if I want to report this out as a HTML, I can uh, use the tab, write the report, save it out, and then share this to other users who might not be using the tools or using the authoring tools to review. And this is the clash report which I can share with others. So what this does is it captures every single clash in the model that we've uh, gone through. It gives us information on the date that we found that clash, information on the XYZ points, element IDs, etc. And then the comments that I've created here. So I've assigned it to Tom and he needs to action that item. 